be kind of just going and it looks like we forced it once again can <laughs> everybody it's Shufaka back at again with another Madden YouTube video today we have a gameplay on a brand new card that is a 94 bar. this is not the best promo in the world there are 96s but Kelsey you guys know is literally almost the same card as his card before because he got a plus one for team of the week so we're doing a Marquis Brown we already did Johnny U if you want to check that one out as well I'm kind of excited about this card I'm not gonna lie I He's fast. He's going to be cheap. A lot of people are going to be using him. So I know a lot of people are going to want to check him out too. But if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button. Let's get quickly into it. As you guys can see, we did not power him up because you do need that 88, which a lot of people do need the power pass, which I would say most of you guys should have. It's 88. It's pretty easy to get. I don't know if I want to keep him on the team. He might stay on the team. How good he plays. 5'9", which is kind of an L. But you guys got to remember, he is going to be much cheaper than every 95 overall speed. Speeded wide receiver, if that makes sense. So, like, you have guys like Percy Harvin. He's going to be 150K cheaper than him. You guys, guys, like, I don't know, like, Oh, obviously Odell. You got Devontae Adams, Calvin. Marquise Brown is like a budget version of them, and everybody will be able to attain this from free and house rules as well. Obviously, his stats are going to be up to par, but he does get that spec catch above 90. The deep route running is amazing, so if you need a deep, fast guy, I think Marquise Brown's amazing. When you power him up and you have your speed strat, he will be 98 speed on most teams. Let's go see how he actually plays in game. We're going to be using deep out elite, which is the best ability for wide receivers on next gen. I don't know about current gen. Let's go test him out. So it looks like we will be getting the ball first i i do have him in the slot although i do recommend him on the outside i think in my offense personally that is the best way i can get him the ball so i do uh, maybe we can get him started on the ground and get him in the open field let's see if we get him on this drag route underneath looks like he's gonna get the first catch of the game i know oh they i think they might have fixed his spin move because when i had his 88 earlier in the year powered up he definitely did not have a good spin move so another big thing with cards is the drip factor looking at him the nice little sleeve on him he is looking very very tough looks like Oh man, we tried to bait. Okay, look at he tried to bait it a little bit, and we still had him on the sideline. He didn't hold him too enough. Actually, pretty funny. I, I I literally waited for him to move so I could throw it right away. Let's see if we can get him on this nice little vertical route. I absolutely love this route. I like throwing it with taller receivers, and it looks like we might not have time. We do, and we're gonna throw an absolute laser to him under pressure on the run. Derrick Henry looking crazy, but Marquise Brown looking even crazier. Let's start with that one play. I know I'm running weak side bunch, but I want him to run away from the user. Let's see if we can get him wide open underneath. It looks like he will again. Nothing too crazy. They're only four yards, but we'll take it. I think this game this guy's got to realize that we've been throwing the, the ball to him every single play right we have to take a time out there for whatever reason ea has the stamina absolutely broken on this game but I, I have no clue on house rules the stamina is literally ridiculous let's see if he falls for this running back route and then we can throw the slant back side and it looks like marquise i mean you cannot he caught every single ball that drive Every single ball. We didn't throw one incompletion either. Marquise Brown, that was methodical first guy for him. He looked absolutely amazing right there. I'm actually really enjoying this house rules. I said it in my last video with the Johnny U, but normally in house rules, they still give you the guys that you should be matched up with in head to head. So your ELO, if you guys don't know what ELO is, it's your hidden matchmaking. And it looks like we're actually getting everybody in the gameplay. So I normally I would match up with the same 10 people, but I have had so many new people and it's actually super dope to play right now. So we moved Marquise Brown to the outside. I have no clue why I always do that. I always like accidentally leave Y check in there at slot receiver. Let's see if we can get Marquise Brown on this nice little cover three beater. We should be able to get him wide open. It looks like it's gonna be can't I kind of risked it a little bit. Save us. Thank you, Deep Out Elite, for saving us right there. Here we go, baby. We got him on this nice little zig route. It looks like he's already panting from the Madden stamina being absolutely broken. We're gonna have a nice first down right there. Devin Bush hawking us down hoping nobody notices this is a gameplay i'm not saying i'm like a big youtuber or anything but i do have a burner tag of rudy gobert so hopefully people don't notice that we're doing a gameplay with him and start shadowing him it looks like marquise might have a step oh uh, I, I couldn't tell it looked like he could have got i don't know maybe maybe that was a force i have no clue we're actually gonna call a timeout he's starting to feel a little tired and why uh, we moved him back to the slot too the reason why i was having such a hard time subbing him in is because frank wycheck is like two overalls higher than him at slot receiver for whatever reason it looks like he is gonna manually use her that looks like we're still gonna get him the ball can we get a first we're gonna journal right into a hit stick we were hoping he would try to dive with a hit stick but we'll take a nice little easy play so i'm expecting him to be really tired here soon as you guys know we've kind of given the ball we already took our time out as well because he was already subbed out let's see if we get him on this nice little vertical pattern looks like he's gonna be 
be wide open. We only have a couple men to beat. And it looked, oh my God. Is that Jesse Bay? Jesse Bay just saved him from a touchdown. That spin move was about to go crazy. He feels amazing. I don't know. Like I said, I don't even have this card powered up and he feels very, very good right now. If I was anybody in debating adding this card, especially if you're no money spent, this card should be on your team for how cheap he is for a 94 overall. And it looks like I maybe could have forced that. That would have been a definite force right there. We'll take a couple yards on the ground. All right, here we go. Marquise Brown flood concept. Look like he might be wide open. I kind of wanted to bait that like we did last game. Oh man, he got there. The flood route was just a little slow sometimes. And I said our opponent took a timeout, but I'll, it was a two minute warning. Okay, it was just a glitch in Madden's part. Let's see, I want to pull this guy down with this route right here out of the backfield and hopefully hit Marquise Brown. Let's see if he gets distracted by this running back route. And he did. Will we have Marquise Brown wide open? He's going to catch it. That is deep out of elite for you guys. Best ability for wide receivers. Marquise Brown absolutely agging the brand new Troy Palomalu. We'll take that every single day. So in the third game here, we've been getting the ball second in every game. I've been just quitting out until we get the ball first. Looks like this guy's actually AFK. We're going to have a wide open play. Can't, oh, we got the worst animation ever. We wanted to spin right after that and maybe take that to the Casa. Marquise Brown in the flat. Is he still AFK? He is, and it looks like he actually hard flatted there. There's really nothing for me to do. Let's just throw that one away. So I'm going to run that exact same play we had a big play on. I absolutely, like, this is called, like, the super crosser out of verticals. Every, it gets over, like, almost every zone, and that's why you see a lot of people just running verticals all the time. Let's see if he's going to follow it. He does not, and we're going to have Marquise Brown. Can we get in? Oh, man, we needed a great play right there. Still a really, really huge play. He's Brown looking at, I have not noticed any of these bad catching, any of these bad run, route running to matter at all here. It looks like speed is really just king again, and it looks like Marquise is going to be naked in the end zone to finish off the third game with an easy, easy touchdown and a zig route. You guys already know we're going to try the bomb again. I don't recommend running it on the weak side like we are, but sometimes it'll get to work. And I want to see him in the open field. That last time we forced it, it wasn't really his fault. That was me kind of just going. And it looks like we forced it once again. Can he save us? He will not save us here today. Not at all. News is, is this is overtime rules, meaning we get another chance at defense right here. Let's see what he's going to do here. No way he comes into house rules and runs the ball. Thank God he doesn't. And he's just going to throw a streak up. And we're not going to pick the ball off with our 99 overall Isaiah Simmons. No clue if this is his actually offense. Uh, this I've never seen this formation before. It's actually really weird looking. What is he going to run now here? He's going to two drop picks now this drive. It looks like we're about to be back on offense here soon with Marquis. Need a bag, right? He's going to run on third down, which might actually not a bad play call there, obviously, with some of his passing plays he was calling. Let's see. What will he do? Okay. We're hurrying up on fourth. Is he going to run on fourth and four? If he does and he gets it, that is some true. Tr okay. He's just going to run a bomb right here. Yeah, I don't know, C. Smith. We might need to get you a new offense. I might need to have to buy him an ebook. I absolutely love that Marquise Brown. Like I said, he's going to be basically training value. He's like 100K right now. I think it was 110K or 100K. Training might go up or he might go up in price if then we start seeing like Johnny Yu in the rerolls, if that makes sense. So I would go pick him up now. Absolute budget beast. 94 overall with 95 speed. And he's dirt cheap. Go get him right now, please, boys. Go get him. Appreciate you guys sticking around, though. Make sure to hit that like button. And I'll hope to see you guys in the next one. Go check out that Johnny U gameplay as well. Peace out, boys. <laughs>